Hey, how you doing everybody? It is Luca Mill here with a little tutorial for you on how to back up your Rekordbox database. So here we go. Um, little uh, information here. I am a video DJ, so I have uh, all my music on a external hard drive. Um, with Rekordbox, it puts his database in one spot, so usually on the uh, computer. Now I have a backup computer and if my database is on the um, my main computer then it causes a problem when I plug uh, my hard drive into my backup and I don't have my database and it's, it's time consuming. So I'm going to show you how to walk through everybody how to back up your, uh, your database and then put it on another computer so you have the same database on both uh, the way Serato works is it puts the database or the information on each drive so um, there's a portion on um, the external hard drive so it doesn't matter where you plug it in it, it reads that well Rekordbox no it, it Rekordbox needs to change that that's one thing you guys need to change I need to be able to plug my hard drive into any um, any hard any laptop and be able to um, work off that instead of going through all this this work but here you go here's how you do it so you come on up here to file you go library and you go backup library then you go okay now I don't want to back up the music as well because these are our music videos and it'll be very large so we're gonna go no so now it's gonna tell you where to put it as you can see, I already have a backup here with this date. So I'm just going to save and it's it's saving on my external hard drive. So this will take a long time. So I'll be right back when uh, this is finished. So uh, the backup is finished. Um, so this is the uh, prompt that you'll get. So we're going to go OK. So one other thing I need to show you is we're going to close that off. We're going to go to my computer. This is my external drive. Now take note that this external drive is G because we're going to get to that later. So we're going to click in here. Um, this is the, the previous backup. This is the newer backup. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch computers. I'm going to show you how to uh, import. Now, actually, before I do that, one thing. Say if I want a different profile. Say if, uh, you know, I do weddings and I also do nightclubs. So if I want uh, to have a certain uh, playlist for weddings and then a different playlist for clubs, um, what I do, what I can do is I can export it and then rename that file rename this file um, say nightclub and then uh, change my um, crates and then back that up and then name that as wedding so then when, whatever I'm doing I just load uh, the appropriate um, backup and that's how I can go back and forth. I got different profiles for different events, if, if that's what you want to do. Because someone asked me about that, so that's why I'm bringing that up. So, uh, I'm going to hook up my other computer. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I have hooked up my, uh, my other laptop. Um, so here's the process. We're gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Library, and we're gonna go Restore Library. This operation may overwrite present library. That's okay, because I want to do that. So, we're going to go here. I'm going to click that back up. We're going to go open. So again, this is going to take uh, five minutes or so. So we'll be right back when that is complete. And okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, restore is finished. Uh, please restart the application. So we're going to go OK. OK, so it looks like everything uh, imported um, correctly. There we go. OK, so we're going to click a song. 
Now, if you notice there, it's not finding the song. So you remember back earlier I said pay attention to what uh, drive you're working on? I was working on G. This one is, when it's plugged in, it's registering as E. So Record Box is not going to find it, but here's the fix for that. So we're going to go to Control Panel, which is here on my computer. You find your Control Panel. And then we're going to go to Administrative Tools. And then we're going to go to Computer Management. And that's going to open up like this. And then we're going to go to Disk Management right here. And it's going to show me all my drives. So here's the expansion. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go change drive letter and pass. See where it says E here? I'm going to click change. And then I am actually going to physically assign this to letter G. The reason being is my other laptop uh, has four internal drives. Um, so when you plug, when I plug my external, it registers that as G. So now I go back to record box. I click that and it's found this stuff. I can load that up there. There you go. Good as new. So basically that's how you do it. I hope I've helped something someone. Have a good day.